Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, your girl, Amanda Moore. I have been in such an incredible mood lately. I wanted to hop on here and give y'all a new video, part of the Amanda Moore series. Some of y'all may remember that I started this series at the beginning of this year. I only did one video, but I wanted to do more for y'all. I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about some of the things I learned in 2023. So if you're a returning viewer, make sure you subscribe. And for those of you who are already subscribed and a part of my Diamond Air community, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for still riding with me. So this video is just going to be a very chill video. I just wanted to share with you all some things. As you guys already know, this is really just a series for me to open up with you all, share some things that I've learned as a woman of God that I think will also be very beneficial for you all to also learn from and gain wisdom from as well. So I'm going to start with like the light and the chill and then I'm going to a little heavier stuff. So this year 2023 was really a year where I just learned so much about myself. I feel like I confronted so many fears. I just overcame so many things and I'm a person that I'm definitely like I'm super... I've learned to not be so ambitious in certain areas and just really surrender everything to God and let God take control in every area of my life. But yeah, y'all, I mean, there's just so much that I've always wanted to do. I've always been a person with a lot of dreams and a lot of goals, and it's very important for me to cross those goals off. And I feel like even as of late, God has just been showing me like you have accomplished your goals so give yourself that credit i feel like in this year the lord started to teach me even more about how to be present and how to ground myself um especially coming into like the second half of this year um into the fall so living here in atlanta like i told y'all in the last video i moved to atlanta i've really been able to experience the change of seasons this is my second time getting to really experience fall like when i look outside my window i can see all the leaves colors have changed and i love that i just feel like it's so symbolic of you know in the seasons we change and things change and things are evolving and so i just love it i think also being on tiktok i like found myself on fashion tiktok a lot this year and I got to just really like learn a lot of different things as part of my personality and things I'm into. And I realized like fall is really my favorite season. And I don't know, maybe I thought that it was my favorite season before, but because I lived in Miami and we don't really have change of seasons, I wasn't really certain. But now I know for sure I love the fall. I love trees, uh, foliage. I love all that stuff. I just think it's so beautiful. And even as of late too, like, I don't know what it is so it doesn't snow in atlanta even though i would love to see snow it's been pretty cold lately but i was just outside and it's actually not as freezing as i thought it was because it gets you know to be pretty cold out here too um i have really just been loving like snow i love 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 looking at snow on trees i'm um, just looking at just anything that has to do with nature so in short i just feel like one thing that's really changed about me um, especially when I started my healing journey, you guys know I've shared a bit of how I basically began my healing journey in 2020 and then in 2021 I officially started therapy. Um, that really just made me so much more self-aware of myself, my emotions, who I am as an individual and I realized like nature is very grounding for me and I never really liked being outside. I was always an indoors person. I've never been athletic really. I just really don't care to be outside like that or be in the mix, you know, I don't like losing my flavor. I don't like being too caught up. I just like doing me, you know? But I really, really love nature. And I know for some people who are healing or who have gone through trauma, they're just like, nature doesn't work for me. I don't know why they keep recommending that to me, but for me, it really works. I love like going outside, just feeling the sun, getting to hear like the birds chirping, like all that type of stuff. I feel like, I feel like I, taken life so much more differently now like i appreciate the little things so much more i feel like i've always tried to appreciate things and be a positive person but like i really feel so connected to nature in a way that i used to not feel connected to it and i just feel like nature is something that god created for us as people and it's like we where we were really supposed to be like we weren't really supposed to be like in an industrial society and it's just so crazy because i moved to atlanta to experience city life and now i'm just like i want to live the cottage core life and i want to like be in a little english cottage or like be in just like honestly like just a really cute quaint home like something super homey like that's really like my dream now like i don't want to live in a mansion or live i never really wanted to live in a mansion but i never really wanted to live like I don't know like I think some people think like their dream would be living in this super upscale like 20 bedroom like 10 bathroom like I don't think that would ever be my dream I think that would be a nightmare for me I'd be like this is too much house like I really love coziness 
I've really been able to just learn how to appreciate resting in God. And these are things that have helped me really like recognize and realize like, this is me. Like, I really love stuff like that. I'm definitely at times, I guess I am a girl that indulges a little bit in luxury, but I really love the simple things and I love the simple life. And I never, I don't, I can't say I never thought I'd be like this. Like now it just makes so much sense to me. Like, especially like, so if you guys have ever heard of The Holiday, it is one of my most favorite Christmas movies. Yeah, I have been watching so many Christmas movies lately. <laughs> I've watched so many movies. Every day I'm watching Christmas movies and I'm just in such a Christmas mood and I absolutely like love all the movies I've been watching. But The Holiday is my most favorite Christmas movie. If you've never seen it, you have to watch it. And it's so funny because Cameron Diaz, her character's name is Amanda, just like me in the movie. But she lives like in this upscale like California home. And then the lady she uh, switches houses with, which is, uh, oh my God, her name just left me. I love her so much. Um, I, I forgot her name. It's going to come back to me. I'm going to put it on the screen because I know it's going to come back to me after the fact. The lady that played in the Titanic, isn't her name like Kate something? I can't remember her name right now. But basically, the lady that was in the Titanic, she's in the movie too. And she lives like somewhere in like um in the UK. I'm not exactly sure exactly where she lives, but she lives in this super cute little cottage. And they basically switch homes like for the holidays or whatever because um kate winslet that's her name okay so kate winslet the one who lives in the uk she um basically has this bad breakup with this man that's a narcissist it's so like i love that movie i don't want to give it away if you guys have never watched it like i'm gonna spoil it for you guys and i don't want to spoil it but it's so funny because now i look at that movie and i'm just like i probably would have thought that i probably wanted to live in amanda's home in the movie uh cameron diaz's character and i love her house and then i didn't even know okay Something else I realized, y'all, I know I'm rambling, but... So this movie was done by a director called Nancy Myers, and I didn't know that, like, she directed all these different movies because she has, like, a certain aesthetic that is so, like, pleasing and just so classy and beautiful and just so, like, oh, I just love it. And I didn't know that she directed that movie, and she's directed a lot of movies that I, like, love the aesthetic of. Um, so yeah, she has like a good couple of movies that's leaving me now, but I want to like watch all of them, the ones that I haven't seen as of late and the ones that I've never seen. But yeah, The Holiday is like everything. Oh, The Parent Trap. I didn't know that she directed that, if I'm not mistaken. And The Parent Trap, like the aesthetic, and it's the same thing, like the switcher rule between Annie and what's the other little girl's name? Um, God, Annie is the one from Paris, and then her sister's name is... Oh, I forgot her name, the one that lives in California. I just watched that movie recently and I love that movie so much too. That's one of my favorite movies. I forgot, but y'all know, for those of you guys have seen it, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you've never seen The Parent Trap 2 with Lindsay Lohan, that isn't a, like, oh my God, I love that movie. That's such a good movie. So yeah, basically I realized that I love stuff like that. I feel like it's so grounding to me. I love like, I realized like I really love taking life in at what they call like slow living and like at a slower pace. I definitely feel like that is my dream now. I don't want to live a fast paced city life. I don't like, I feel like I've lived in Atlanta and I love Atlanta and this is where I am right now. And I'm appreciative of being here. And I was just outside and I was just like, I, I love where I live. But to be honest, I really look forward to living a like a quainter life. This is something that I really have realized in 2023. I know this might be something like silly y'all, but maybe some of y'all can relate to it. And then I want to get a little more into some heavier things that I learned in 2023. I haven't really shared this like anywhere on my socials. When this has happened to me, I was like, oh my gosh, like I want to do a live on this. And because I just needed to like decompress. It was a lot. <laughs> But then I was like, nah, I started feeling normal again. Um, and I was like, you know what? No, I don't really want to put this on the internet. I'm going to share a little bit about it right now, but I'm not going to give you guys everything. So this year I actually got picked for jury duty. Um, so I was an actual juror on an actual trial for a week. And it was a murder trial. And like somebody really got killed y'all like it was so crazy because i okay i knew i was gonna at least get picked to be questioned because i had dodged the bullet of jury duty twice in florida and i was just like i know i'm gonna get picked and i was telling my husband like i really don't want to have to do nobody wants to do, do jury duty right so um he's like you're not gonna get picked because so many people get called in and never get picked right and as soon as they call my name to get the to do the questioning i was like here we go 
So I already knew, like I already knew I was gonna get picked. Like I just knew it in my spirit. Like I was prepared. I go to get questioned and everything. And based off of how I answered the questions, I didn't really think they were gonna pick me. There were so many people and I felt like, I don't think they're gonna pick me. Next thing I knew, they called my name or my number. I had a number. They call you by number. And I was like, oh my gosh, you had to get up, go sit in the section. You're gonna sit to do the trial. Like it was insane like it was such a fascinating experience but at the same time i feel like it left me a bit traumatized because i really feel like yes it's our civic duty but they should have gave us free therapy after the fact like something you do get paid to do jury duty and it's not like a lot of money but you do get paid um and it was really for me i think a very eye-opening experience i feel like with everything i've been talking about here on my channel um, it has just really brought me into a place where I'm so much more confident about the things that God shows me and about just everything God has been preparing me for as far as what he has called me to do for the body of Christ. Um, it was just such a eye-opening, life-changing experience for me. I, I really feel like I became a different person after that trial. Um, and it really like what actually happened as far as like the case was crazy, yes. But I think what really shocked me and what really took me aback and what really made me reflect was the experience that I had with all the other people that were picked to do the trial with me and that we had to deliberate and come to an agreement. Um, and I won't say right now, maybe one day I'll open up about it more, but I just, I don't know, right now I just don't feel the clear to do it because I'll have to get into so many different things to explain it to you all. But um, basically, I just really... I really feel like, I don't want to say I lost faith in humanity or that my faith lessened in humanity, but I think that I have come to a place where I really understand that the majority of people operate in fake outrage. I think that when people have the opportunity to do the right thing, a lot of people choose not to do the right thing because it's so crazy like how I had moments during this trial where I literally had to just sit back and be like, I know I'm not being gaslighted right now. Am I being gaslighted right now? Because I literally was paying attention to every detail and I knew who was innocent and who was guilty. And when we got back there to deliberate and it was just like, I finally understood some things about human behavior that I did not understand before or that I didn't realize people will do to escape accountability. And as you guys know, I've been so open about like talking about, you know, um, mental health and narcissism and therapy. And like, I just really learned a lot about people. And I really want to say that it's really sad when people don't have any type of consciousness or conviction around things. I think that I really learned that everyone does not fear God. And sometimes when you fear God, it's just like you cannot wrap your mind around how could people not do the right thing? How could people see something messed up and frames an innocent person to just not have to face accountability? Like even if it's a jacked up situation, even if it's something where it's like, oh wow, like this is gonna change my life. Like how do you sleep at night knowing that you lie to yourself and that you aren't honest? Like, I won't get into all of it, but like there were people that got on that stand and lied and it was evident to everyone in the room. And so, um, I think I made peace with the situation because like I was literally praying every day, praying for the people who were seeking the justice and it was just a, it was a lot. Like it was a lot when all was said and done, it was like, this is in our hands, this is in God's hands. So um, I think for me, what I took from this is like what I was speaking about on the last video, it kind of correlates with it. Um, I just did a video and I'm gonna start doing more podcast style videos. Um, just because I really want to be able to get on here more often and talk to you guys more often here on YouTube. And sometimes I just don't have the time to get all prettied up, glammed up, hair, makeup, like how y'all see me right now. But I want to be as present as I can be on my YouTube channel. God willingly, prayerfully. Y'all please pray for me. Um, those of you got the Holy Ghost, you know. So um, I really just felt like, you know what? <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Let me. Okay, so let me backtrack. So... I did a video right on trust what God shows you 
And I think that something we really have to be grounded in in these times that we're living in in Christ is like, if God shows you something, trust what God is showing you. Like, it doesn't matter if a thousand people are telling you that you're off or you're wrong or you're seeing the wrong thing. Like, there are people that will really try to make wickedness look like purity. Like, I'm not even playing with y'all. I'm talking about dark, demonic, wicked stuff, y'all. And it's so crazy, too, because I was on TikTok and this one girl was like, just recently, she was uh, in the video saying, um, isn't it crazy? Like, I don't know if y'all ever think about this, but like, do you see the people that are out here and they pick random people to go to trial or to do uh, these trials or whatever and do jury duty? And these people have no idea what's going on in the world. These people are so lost. Like, people are just, they're not good people out here. And they pick these people, right, at random to do these trials. And I literally wrote her and I was like, yeah, I literally just lived this. Like, I did a trial not like a couple months ago. And let me tell you that my, I did tell her that my favorite humanity lessons, because at that moment, I just, I couldn't write more that I would want to say. And I was like, on top of that, it was a murder trial. And she was like, no freaking way. And I was like, yes. So I'm telling y'all right now, like, prepare yourself mentally, prepare yourself spiritually for the times we're living in. Like, we really are living in the days of people will call good evil and evil good. People will frame innocent people. People will do really messed up stuff, y'all, and be okay with it. And even think that it's something, it's the right thing to do so that the person who's actually doing bad doesn't have to serve time or doesn't have to, doesn't have to face consequences. Like there's really people out there like that. And it really breaks my heart because there was so many examples in this trial of so many things that like was so obvious and it's like you would have to have no soul or just be really blind and I, you know sometimes people really are blind like don't get me wrong people really don't know what's going on and i understand that so i don't really have super high expectations especially when it comes around to like unbelievers but for christians like we have a standard that we live by and i think that we just have to be honest and there was a moment when we were back in the room we were deliberating and you know everyone had to go around and say what they thought and i just straight up you know i think it was our our foreman too he agreed with me on everything and um yeah i learned so many little terminologies i did not know before the defendant the i don't watch court stuff like now i'm gonna get a little bit into it but it's heavy like i was just like bro i was so in it during that week but um he agreed with me like you know we talked about it. like i said yo like personally for me if i did something i'm not gonna try to escape accountability like i couldn't live with myself because people are like oh will this person go to jail for the rest of their life or this person but if you did the crime you gotta do time baby like you know what i'm saying like how are you gonna lie and say stuff that you know i just i couldn't do that and i wouldn't put people on the stand to lie for me like i just don't think that that's right you know so yeah y'all um it was an experience again that just completely changed me as a person and i just want to share that with y'all maybe in the future i'll give y'all the whole story on like a live like doing my makeover doing something so y'all make sure y'all follow me at i am amanda Moore on instagram to keep up with me but yeah um i don't know what else to say about that situation that situation is so crazy like i don't even i try not to think about it all the time because it's just like always in the back of my head now but yeah, y'all, I just want to leave y'all with a couple little announcements. I meant to do it on probably one of my last lives that I did for my Diamond Air series. Um, I really want to be able to get on this channel more next year. And I'm trying to, you know, make sure I'm doing as many lives as I can or videos as I can as I go throughout my year. I do always have other things going on. I'm a wife. I cannot always be on the internet, like filming, filming, filming. But I am trying to at least do podcast style videos for you all. There are moments and times though where like I really just want to be on camera so like I can express things and I explain things especially for my Diamond Air series where you know I teach chosen ones and people who want to live out their purpose like I just really want to encourage them and motivate them and get on this camera like for those of you that are part of that and follow that series very closely I'm just very passionate about those things but even these videos the I Am Amanda Moore series I feel like there's so much stuff that I want to teach you all that I learned through my life and just really just chill stuff and especially for y'all ladies that you know keep up with me and y'all follow me everywhere like I just want to show y'all more love and just want to be more present so y'all can expect more podcast style videos from me next year where it's going to be audio videos um I just really want to do more at the beginning of this year I was kind of off of Instagram for a while but I do use a lot of different social medias. I remember that I was off for a while because I actually wanted to do a podcast and I literally created the picture y'all, the whole nine yards, like I had it all together. 
but um i ended up saying you know what no like i felt like i was just creating more work for myself and i really just want to be more present on this channel so i chose to say you know what i'm not going to um do podcasts uh, a pod a whole separate podcast and i'm just going to do podcast style videos on here i think one of the biggest things that i learned in this year was to just really let go of a certain degree of perfectionism that i feel like came in when i started healing i feel like something i haven't really shared as much but i will be sharing in the future is that i do think there were certain things that I used to feel very confident about before I started healing and the, the more self-aware I became, sometimes self-awareness can make you feel just very like insecure in certain areas, you know? And I feel like what I've learned is it's okay to have to relearn yourself, you know? I've always known that it's okay and I've always been big on like evolving and changing, but I think that there were some really deep truths that I had to confront within myself and it kind of made me doubt parts of myself and so that's why when I was telling y'all about the trial and everything that was a very big moment for me because God could have chose anybody you know to be a part of that that trial and I felt honored to have been able to be in that room and witness that and just even be able to lift people up in the spirit who I knew needed that in that moment so yeah y'all um I definitely know that like moving forward I just really want to be more present on here I do like to operate in excellence I don't like to just roll out of bed and just come on the camera hey what's up guys like even if like you guys would be happy to see me i still want the channel to have some type of like you know just like i just wanted to look you know decent or just whatever i do on here to be as as great as i can do it for you all but i definitely feel like i may just start like hopping on with the same you know like buy a pack of uh, t-shirts they're all the same t-shirt like do a steve jobs like he used to always be like same black shirt like sometimes i just want to get out of decision fatigue and overthinking my content and just literally like if I just got to hop on with my same little zip up hoodie like I'm gonna hop on hey what's up y'all just so that I don't have to think every little detail before I come on here and I can just create 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 for you all because I really feel like it's time you know and I if I can't even show my face on camera like if I just feel like you know what today's not the day like I'm gonna fill my voice because I feel like what's most important is that you all can hear me and be encouraged by me uplifted by the things that God is teaching me because really this has nothing to do with what I look like or who I am it has everything to do with God so I feel like my mouth is the thing that God uses to bless you all and I just want to really be obedient and really do what God is calling me to do y'all there's so much more I wish I could keep talking to you guys about I really enjoyed doing this video for you all I appreciate everyone that watched make sure you give this video a thumbs up please if you don't do nothing else Give this video a thumbs up. Share with someone that you think would love to watch this video or isn't already following me. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all.